Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in as always. So today, I'm going to motorized, but I'm going to need you to give me a big old fat like on this one because I am excited about it. Definitely comment on what we're doing here and how it's going. We, I'm doing here and how it's going. But, I spent the past six, seven days working on this bike. Well, working on the motor to get the bike, to put it on the bike. I took the YD100 and I'm doing the dial read setup like I've been wanting to do from the beginning. The very first time I bought the motor, as you know, from GoMax. And then later I bought the dial read setup also from GoMax. Not very far in owning it, maybe, maybe a month. The cert clip broke, destroyed the cylinder. Then, had the bike sitting for a long time. Well, had the motor sit for a long time and I wanted to do it again because I really love the YD100 platform. I just think it's a great platform from the gate, out of the gate, from the box. It's just more power because no replacement for displacement, right? That old saying is pretty true. The second cylinder, I built, I, I took this, a regular stock cylinder and I milled it down myself. Now, I don't have a milling machine. Uh, I think you saw it in the video. I used a Dremel and I cracked all the fins off to save time and then I used a Dremel to get out the majority of the metal then I had a major hard time getting the, the plate. The dial reed uses a plate like this and it has to mat up against the actual cylinder wall. Well, the first one came out horribly, everything was jagged and I just didn't do a good job because this is very square. You know, it's a block of aluminum and aluminum is rigid and square. Well, I had a hard time getting it to mat up in the edges and corners because I didn't. Ha I don't have a mill, and I don't have a way to do that. So I didn't think of a file because I'm stupid, I'm an idiot. I didn't think of it until way late in the game, and I ended up screwing that cylinder up. So I spent the past six days working on this thing to do it all over again myself i don't want to buy a dio cylinder i want to do it myself everyone can do stuff with their hands by themselves if they take their time and that's what i've proven here i did it myself now it's still not tuned right but it has no air leaks none of that nonsense i fought through an air leak before i even put the motor on but i'm going to start it up for you in a little bit it is running excellent no tuning i got it down now it's been a lot of time port matching the transfer ports to the uh, the case and the case to the ports of the a cylinder, the jug, and the gaskets. I wanted them to be exact so there's nothing hindering. Um, I went through the exhaust port and smoothed that out real good and polished it up nice. The intake, I made sure the dial was completely, everything was just perfectly port matched on this one. I took my time with this one. The other one I took my time but I didn't do it fully because I was trying to I needed it as a necessity basically this time I don't need it as a necessity if this doesn't work right I got my other motor I can toss it on I'm good to go I, I no no harm no foul maybe an hour or two of assembly again this one I took my time because I didn't have to rush and it, it really shows what you could do if you just take your time I'm gonna put the GoPro on and you're gonna come for a ride with me to quick check and then we'll probably ride around a little bit more and I also got the speedometer up on my phone I know it's not accurate according to some people and you got to do all this crazy math and multiply your tires times pi plus the uh, PSI inflated and what your uh, what the temperature is outside and uh, all that but I'm pretty sure the GPS speedometer which everybody has on their phone nowadays because it's called an app store and you just type in speedometer pretty sure everybody has one. Um, or can get one very easily. So uh, let's get going. Not gonna be going any land speed records here, but I, I will have the speedometer up because I already know I, when I took it out last night, I already know it doesn't go very fast. I don't know, maybe 30, 35, um, and it just kind of four strokes or just tires out right there. And I know it definitely go more than that, but I th it's definitely a carb and jetting issue and all that. Okay. Um, I just want to see how she starts with no choke. Last night I had to use choke, but it was the initial startup, gas and all that getting into the carburetor. So let's just see how we go. Ready? Go. Oh, oh, oh buddy. That's not bad. Uh, 
Uh, the only difference I did today also is I drilled a couple holes into the exhaust. In the bottom of the cap, I put a couple of uh, holes in it. Let's go for it. Pretty sure it says 112 on it. So we need to find one that's smaller. I'm thinking a 105 maybe? Hot diggity, first one I pulled up. Let's put the top on, bottom on, whatever. Depends which way you're looking at it, I guess. It's the bottom, guys, calm down, I'm joking. You always look at it from the top. Right, from the bottom, I don't know, shut up. You're an idiot. Yes, I'm talking to myself. Uh, psych, I'm talking to you guys. So, actually, I'm not talking to myself. It's not my fault, you guys just don't like to answer. One of the biggest comments I get is plug the hole. Plug the hole on the, the manifold. Don't run a hose to it, it's not meant for it. Well, it is actually meant for a hose. It's just meant for a boost bottle or nitrous, which is possible. Definitely something I'd like to look at. But I have it going to this nipple here, PWK 21 millimeter. This is just a nothing. There's nothing there. It's not an open vent, it's just a nipple. So I use it on there to plug it. This way I don't kind of make some crazy plug and it still seals it up nice and fine for me. Okay, now. Let's give her a test. See if she does any better. The needle is still right where it was. Man, this is a hard pill. I am impressed. Right here, boy. It's only doing it so to do it does it that like high throttle, open throttle. Can you see the view out there? You know how high we are? We're high. We're definitely too fast. So let's keep going. But by it four stroking and showing us that it did have a little bit better performance right out the gate, or it does. Not say it, it does, but it's still not right. fuel off again. Perfect. So the way we are going to approach this is we are going to take the needle and we're going to move the clip all the way to the very fattest. Because right now it's on its leanest. So we're just going to skip all the BS and go right down here to the fat. Let it be fat and happy. Fat girl's a happy girl. Now let's get this open. This is going to be the last adjustment. 
today because the rain is coming. And this is what I think is 100. It's a little hard to read it. We can let the fuel flow. Yeah, that's pretty much the flow. Put the fuel back in. I do expect a big difference from this because we fattened up the needle so much. Expecting it to definitely be a four stroker now. Be a four stroker? Be a four stroker full. But, uh, never know. Might not because of the uh, jet. Might be just right. Never know. Maybe I just bloop, 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 magically did it. Doubt it, but you never know. Always possible. Anything's possible, right? I mean, I made a really good cylinder with a Dremel. So, we all know any thing is possible. Okay guys, let's give her hell again. Getting that? Look at this. Now I just came back from ripping it. See the condensation? How cold the intake temps are? That shows you it's rich, one, but it also shows you that the intake temps are definitely cool. So the, the charge going into the engine is very cold in comparison to the actual engine. Well, this is cold. It just came out of a running hot motor, and this is literally cold. Like you can see the frost and my fingerprints on it. That is freaking awesome, guys. I don't even know if you guys are excited about it. I am excited about that. So we went up one clip. If I gotta open this up 15,000 times, then so be it. I'd rather this fat than lean, especially this particular motor, because of all the time, blood, sweat, and tears I've put into it over the past year, so to speak. Like this is my dream build motor all about all the above like this is everything i wanted my motorized bike to be basically and it's it's almost there guys it's almost there today is sunday the 18th also if you could uh the youtube algorithm really likes people to subscribe and that would help me out if you could do me a favor and drop me a line write a comment just say hi what's up what are you building all this and that and also we have a Facebook group, same name, Johnny's Motorized Bicycles. Come over there, join. Um, and it lets you post your own pictures, your own videos, and we can talk about your builds and stuff that's breaking and not breaking and all, which is exactly what fits into my wheelhouse, as you know. So today, we're going all the way to Mid-Alpin from North Plainfield. Those of you that are not familiar with New Jersey in the least bit, basically, that's a far ride. It's gonna be the first real ride with my new YD100 Dio Reed system. Not tuned yet, but I gotta go, so I'm going. It's still running a little rich. When I pulled the plug, it honestly was a little white, so that means lean, but um, the way it's running, it, sound, it feels rich, so I'm, and it was a lot of carbon, so I'm not really worried. I think it is rich, to be honest. Um, Heather is taking Mercedes, of course, and we're gonna head on out. I'm pulling the trailer today because we got extra tools. Since it's such a far ride, we got a bunch of extra stuff with us. Air pumps, and bigger air pumps, stuff we wouldn't normally carry on a regular 40 or 50 mile trip. But since it's so far, I figured let's take extra stuff just in case. Plus, it's a brand new build as far as the motor goes for me. So I want to take a chance. She's got real issues with her gas tank going on. We're we waiting for the new one to come in. We tied this one on because both sets of studs had broken and started leaking but we fixed them the way I fix them and JB welded them to hold them in after we sealed them up because we don't have a welder and no drips, no drops, holding great. And the rope is holding it and it's on there. It's not going anywhere. Brought extra rope in case that rope cuts, but I'm gonna periodically uh, stop, 
because it's a long ride and we'll be taking pictures and stuff and show you our route but uh as of right now let's pull it up you got the address on your map yet what's the address i want to pull it up on mine two hours and 26 minutes either way uh we'll stop take pictures here and there and let you know how it's going and whatnot so uh i'm looking forward to this uh this is we're going to my friend's house uh, my best friend danny gaboff uh recently passed away about three weeks ago and uh, i believe they cremated him but uh we're going to a party to celebrate his life it's white people stuff um so there was no real wake no real uh, anything else but there is a party to celebrate his life so we're gonna go swim and celebrate him by swimming underwater and holding my breath still sounds like fun haven't seen a lot of the people in a while um lost touch with them because of things going on in my own life and stuff but uh it would be nice to see some of the people his folks i haven't seen him in a long time he was a friend for years all right let me uh get going and uh, we'll chime back in as we stop and we'll show you where we're at hey guys <laughs> yeah uh, so we made it, what, about 10 minutes? Yeah. Maybe? 10 Maybe. minutes? That's counting the lights. Um, and we already got a flat. I got a flat already. You know, normal stuff. But, uh, man, that sucks. Um, so we're just changing it out. I figure, uh, give you an update on what's going on on the trip. That's what I wanted to do when we stop. And, uh, you think we're even out of, uh, we're probably in Plainfield. <laughs> you know, so that's a different town basically kind of um but yeah so i'm gonna switch this out and put a new tube in real fast this is an old tube so maybe that had something to do with it but um all right i guess i'll try back in and let you know when we're on our way again all right so when i get a flat i always turn it inside out you got to look for what the problem is so i turn and i'm like oh wow, i found it and i turned it over and holy crap i i ran over a ninja star <laughs> like what is this I don't even, oh, it's, as you know what this is? This is an old uh, lock washer just broken in half. Like a castle, you don't gotta get that close. Oh. It's like a castle lock washer. Um, it broke off of something, a car or something, but yeah. So, ran over a Ninja Star. But, uh, you know, luckily it only put a big hole in the tire. So that's gonna be totally usable. Is it going? It's going. Good, because we're going. This is literally the second flat tire. Um, this happened five minutes since the last flat tire I just recorded, or kind of recorded for me. So um, we're doing real good. We're tired, didn't look for anything yet, but we are at a Walmart. Let me get my gloves on so my fingers don't get filthy. We're at a Walmart because um, I just feel that this tire is prone to picking up stuff because I've gotten, I must have gotten 10 flats with this tire already. This tire is brand new. Well, not brand new anymore, but it's, you know, within a couple weeks. Um, and since the day I got it, the first day I got it, I got four flats after I got it. Three flats after I had gotten it, after I bought the new tire. Many flats since. I just, some tires are more prone for picking up stuff off the road. Why? I don't know. But it just seems to be my luck. Sure. And uh, I'm aggravated with it. So we stopped at Walmart and stole bought another tube tire and uh we're switching her out again we figured out what the flat i always like to make sure i find the stuff for the flat and uh it broke off but it's a piece of plastic Here, get in close on that see how thin it is like it's literally just a piece of plastic and it breaks easy the other piece was here but it bounced off but that's what i'm saying like that's a thin piece of plastic these tires i don't know because of the the style but they're very prone to uh, picking stuff up. So it's no bueno. And uh, we're going to something bigger and better. Another cheap tire. <laughs> um, you know, is what it is. It's just to get something quick because we need something right now. Because I'm not going to keep changing the tire every five, literally five to ten minutes. That's insane. Even for me. Why I came here today in my cart. Can I unzip it? Da, 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 see those two boxes right there? I don't know if you can see it through this. There's two motor boxes here. Two YD100s. 